Hello, this is Lakesh. Hey, Lakesh. Hello, welcome. Greetings. greetings. Hello, I Matt. Did, I didn't speak to you for a while, but uh, now is a good time. It is all right. I've been very busy. Come on, you. We are always available. I know. Yes, I am always available. But I have been very busy with my granddaughter and other things, but I still uh, have plenty of time, plenty of time for you. Yeah, I think you can manipulate time, can you? Yes. Yeah, you can like kind of multiply, we, duplicate, and speak to the say, several people at once. We have some access to the nows, yes. All right. So, um, <laughs> anything, um, anything fundamental you can say like about the nature of uh, the civilization and um, transformations of the civilization? On your civilization? Um, yeah, at this point we are more looking at, at our civilization, yes. There is many things I could say. There is very many things happening with different parts of civilization on your world. In your right. part of the world, there is violence at this time, as well as the virus which is undetermined what it actually is. They have made several different determinations that they have sent out to the galactic government, but none of those determinations seem to be quite right. There is something missing from every one of them, but we are trying to figure that out and why they are not actually giving us the actual uh, uh, ingredients for this uh, particular disease. Also, uh, they are holding, so they are holding something back on us. Something man-made is in this disease that is not there when they send it out to us. So it is that they are withholding information. So therefore, all the species on your planet have agreed not to give anyone out here the truth. So, that, that is makes one. no sense. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, it makes no sense. With your technologies, you should be able to read the virus just fine. We I can. mean, if you can see us, you can see the virus. It's, it's so can. simple, it's only a few megabases. It's very easy to, I mean, the sequence is published, so you should be able to access the information. Yes, but the, the information is incorrect. So, what I am saying is this what they have sent out here for us to look at is not correct. We know better. I mean, I mean they, they have so many agents on the planet, you can easily sample the virus. I know that. I am just telling you what they sent out here. Uh, there could be some electromagnetic component or transdimensional component or etheric component, which is um, like um, radiated well, we through some we antennas. There are several species that know exactly what it is, but I am just saying what they have sent out here is incorrect. All right. Of course we uh, know. That's fine. Um, yeah, we know about, you know, the basics we know. I, I wondered, uh, one thing was, um, someone said that astrology says that we should have violence at this time. Did you look at that? Yes. Um, according to the different houses of the astrologies, which are incorrect, by the way, they would say that uh, all the things that are happening now are meant to be happening. But they're slightly incorrect in some ways, but very correct in other ways. So we are still determining that, uh, yes, it is true that mankind is desensitized by many things, and these things will happen. So what's the plan of the Cabal? The plan of the Cabal is to keep his people as confused and in fear as possible, to keep them separated as much as possible, to keep them at odds with one another as much as possible. As, as far as they are concerned, the more disarray, the better. The reason for this is when finally they come to be the savior of the day 
everyone will follow. Oh, so there is a part where they start saving the humanity. They will come and say, this is the way, it will be this vaccine, it will be this, this, and this. This is what they have planned. What, if it will happen, we do not know, but they are planning to be the ones that save the day so that they, everyone will be in line with all of their politics. Right, Hitler, Hitler um, saved Germany from um, many years of economic disasters. Yeah, like maybe 20 or 30 years of uh, since 13. So it's like, yeah, about 30 years of economic disasters. And he came and the economy went up and everybody was was cheering up. Many, many people were cheering up, not everybody. And here we, we might have the same situation where they first create the disaster and then they kind of turn some um, gears and uh, lever, le levers of economy and fix it back. Yep. Yeah. This is, they are seeing that uh, the economic collapse, which they will control or try to, is, will come back with them in power completely. They are I not see. in complete power yet. Uh -huh. But they want to be. And uh -huh. so if the economic collapse happens, uh, exactly when they want it to, they are prepared to bring everything back with them in complete control. I see. So the word Kabbalah comes from Kabbalah, Kabbalah uh, the, the Jewish word, but uh, how much of yes, Jewish... A, uh, Jewish mysteries. Yeah, how much of Jewish mysteries. involvement is in, uh, in the Kabbalah, uh, in the current Kabbalah? How many people are in the current one? No, I mean, how much of Judaism is in the current cabal, or how much of Jewish ideology is in the current cabal? Actually, quite a bit. Uh huh. I would say about 65%. Wow. That makes sense. Okay, and um, I heard that uh, the core of the cabal is Nazi, is it right? A, a quarter? A core, uh, a core, a center of the cabal, or uh, the main ideology is uh, inherited from the Nazi? Um, there is some of that in there as well. I'm not sure if it's the core, but it is, uh, the, it is definitely part of who they are. Uh, there is a, a story which I don't know if... It, it, it's so attractive that everyone is... Uh, descendants of Hitler and uh, Rothschilds, like Obama is descendant of Hitler and, and so on. Is there like any truth in that? No. Yeah, it sounded too, too, too pretty. No, there's no truth in that. Right. Um, uh, but there is truth that the cabal is uh, spreading around their DNA quite a lot so that people will have a more mm, I, I don't know what to say, how to say it uh, they they are trying to incorporate uh, their own thought processes around the world in different uh, areas of uh, high finance all right so how much of alien involvement is uh, in the control of the cabal? 20%. Oh, how can you calculate percentage of something which is not calculatable? What? How can you calculate the percentage of something which is not calculatable? I mean, you mean 20% of aliens are part of the cabal? That's what you mean? No, 20% of the cabal are aliens. Yeah, okay. Uh, wow, what kind of aliens? Uh, mostly reptilians and greys. What kind of greys? The Zeta greys and the Zaza greys. Uh -huh. And what kind of reptilians? Uh, definitely the Zeta reptilians. I see. And uh, is the Cabal unified? Yes. They're very organized. 
Hey, finally we get the conspiracy confirmed. Because there is a, always a suspect, uh, suspicion that the cabal is disorganized and being manipulated from above. That's what they want you to think. I see. How much of the, how many people are in the cabal? Several hundred, but there are seven leaders. Wow. And is Kufu one of them? Kufu in the form of a man, yes. Yay, interesting. Seven leaders. Are they on the planet? Yes. How, what percentage of the cabal is on the planet, on the surface? 80%. How much is uh, underground? About 3 or 4%. And the rest? Are outside or exopolitical. What do you mean exopolitical? Outside of your realm. Yeah. How many are in the other dimensions? About uh, 14%. Oh, okay. It adds up. And how easily do they navigate back and forth? Very. Oh, so they can travel back and forth, no problem? Yes, because they're not traveling in the third dimension. They're traveling in other dimensions and are not being able to be seen by the third dimension as they travel. But when they arrive here, they take on human bodies, which are in storage. Oh, in storage. How do they store them? Um, I do not know exactly how they do it, but they keep the bodies fresh and they walk in. Most of them are cadavers that they have kept fresh after they have died and they're younger. Oh, I see. So some sort of liquid incubator? Yes. Or maybe air incubator, I don't know. But there are many that, many are politicians. Aha. Uh -huh. I would think that lots of them would be like uh, invisible to the public. Yes, people don't know that they're aliens. No, no, I mean, I would think that many of the cabal leaders would be unknown to the, will not be public figures. Where so the you, question is, where do you hide things that people cannot find them? Right in front of their face. So how many of the cabal members percentage wise are not known to the public, not public figures? Oh, quite a few. I'd say 75% of the cabal is not, are not common, commonly known. Okay. Okay. So, are the draconians helping them? Yes, but they are not actually part of the cabal, but they are just aligned with them. Meaning that they are they don't have any decision making authority, but they do give uh, trade and money to them. Uh huh. Well, what kind of money would that be? Like galactic money? Galactic money is gold and platinum. Yes. Really. And I... uranium and radioactivity, active, active materials. Uh -huh. uh, and they make eununium and uh, musconium and things of that nature for them. Uh huh. Are dwarfs helping? What? Dwarfs. Dwarfs? Dwarfs, yeah. They are little men. Oh, I do not know of the, the dwarfs. Most of the dwarfs are part of the. Uh, Earth, the Earth, what are they called? Elemental population. All right, they, because I, I just was, th I just they jumped for themselves in any political things. They used to in the past. Okay, I just was thinking that they are the. They stay away from that. I was thinking that they're famous for their alch alchemy and, uh, and uh, love for gold. So I was thinking that they, they might be involved. They are not. Okay. 
How about Agarthans? The Agarthans, there is a percentage of them that are involved, but a small percentage. On Remember I said 3% of, uh, the, of them were uh, underground? Well, 1% of those are Agarthan. Oh, so the Agarthans is on the Cabal side? There are one percent of them are. Hmm. Confusion. I was thinking that Agarthans are good ones. They are, for the most part. But in every civilization, there are dark ones. I see. So they're split. In every civilization. Unless you're an angel, then that civilization is the only one I can think of that does not have any dark beings in it. How about fallen angels? That's not part of the angelic realm. They what? are. They're what? Yes, they are a, a different realm completely. Oh, I see. So they changed their design. They've changed the, who they are, yes. Mm. So how does Lucifer play in this picture? Hmm, it's an interesting thing to say, but he controls a great deal of it. But he doesn't exist, so how could he control a great deal of it? So, but let me tell you this, with the very belief of him, he is, because people uh, create their own realities. And so therefore, as he is, uh, as he is who he is, he is created to be a part of it. So it's, uh, it's uh, an artificial creation? In some respects, but he still has a great deal of power and the Cabal wield that. Is Lucifer a fallen angel? Well, he was. Oh, but he's actually, Lucifer is actually Toth. Oh. And Toth is good and bad. He has divided himself amongst everything. So he is a good person and a bad person. And uh, Khufu is the bad side of Toth? Not necessarily. To, okay, to, so... Kufu can be, is an extremely intelligent and wise individual, can work on behalf of good and evil. And so what he decides to do benefits himself. If it's goodness that benefits him at this time, then he will work for that. If it's not, then he'll work for the other. Um, perfect. So Kufu, Lucifer, and Thoth are the same thing. They kind of overlap. Correct. Interesting. That makes the plot even more dramatic and more interesting. Yes. All right. So um, I guess it the, the picture became so so uh, harmonious. It's just nothing else to ask. But always there is something else to add. Uh, yeah. So where are the, our alien friends in that picture? What, what are they doing? Were your what? Alien friends? Yes, like uh, different friendly alliances. They are here fighting different things for you that you are even not even aware of. They're taking out the pollution in the airs. They are helping with the weather and the axis so that it doesn't turn. They are uh, trying to defeat those beings that are a hybrid species that are trying to terraform your planet. They're doing much actually, but they are not allowed to come and directly lay hands on anything um, that is human, even though they, their counterparts are, that are coming down in the fourth dimension and taking human bodies. Nobody knows who they are uh, really. They are, they have no, idea which ones out here are doing that. Even but the aliens don't know? 
they have a there is a dimensional porthole system that is so um, advanced that people can walk through it and be wherever they want to be, as you probably know. And this porthole system is what they're using to get to the Earth and not be detected. And so where they're coming from, no one knows. They walk through a porthole, they're on Earth. Uh, 12 Magi Kings, uh, including Maharal and uh, King Arthur, and uh, I think Merlin, uh, they are set, they are, their goal is to return the portals to the good, uh, exactly. to, to the people, yeah. And they, they have not started to do that yet. They need to have a plan and they do not have a plan that is ready yet of course that's okay that's okay i mean at least we have some positive forces working on our side oh yes now, many. now uh how about um it's called um, white dragon society basically the yes, positive from under norway sweden finland and the uh and the ocean there and the fjords. Yes, they're, they're sending positive energy through the earth and sending positive um, alliances, giving information to alliances of the positive nature. They are subterranean. So these are white dragons. Now there is uh, another uh, mm, group, which is positive military which are for the humanity and uh, having normal human values. Like, they like children. <laughs> I mean, how do you define positive human values? Basically, yeah, which are on the positive side, on the side of life. And they call themselves White Dragon Society or White Dragon Alliance. But maybe there are other names. I, I'm just not, I cannot recall them. It's all right, I understand. Yes, there's so, but, many groups aligned with them. So basically the question is, do we have any secret positive force among their uh, government and the military? Yes. So it's not, it's not unreal. No, I can't speak of it though. I see. Who can speak about it? No one, otherwise everyone will hear it and then it won't be a secret society and it won't be working positively anymore. Uh, there are uh, three three sources which we know, which I know. I mean, I didn't dig deeper, but one source is David Wilcock, another source is Ben Fulford, and the third source is so-called Q, which is uh, an, an anonymous uh, blogger, which reveals. Uh, Q is things. the most. Um, the Q is Q is the most um, knowledgeable. The other ones have misinformation. Okay, mm -hmm. that helps. So basically we should just study uh, the messages of Q. Well, <coughs> many of their, <coughs> much of their information is precise. Yay, thanks. Yeah, I was sort of lazy uh, digging the trail because it is so polluted with uh, with nonsense. Understood. Like fake predictions and stuff. And um, yeah, just some things that don't make a lot of sense. Of course. And, you, and they won't because they're not aligned to just third dimension, but they're aligned to fourth and fifth dimension as well. I see. So Q is uh, alien? Yes. Well, no. Yes and no. They have some aliens working with them, but they are from uh, the Earth. They are one of the highest intelligent groups there is. Um, and that's about all I can say about them. Is it any related to the Q continuum from Star Trek? That is... Um, some similar to how they work in some ways, yes. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, Star Trek had many. Star Trek also had Latinum. Latinum is short for platinum. In, oh, in well, Latinum is uh, a combination of Latinum and some other mineral or something, but it is a great value. I see. So it's real? Well, they have made Latinum in space, yes. So Latinum is, actual, is an actual thing in space? Yes. Wow. I thought it was made up in, in Star Trek. Gene Roddenberry saw many things as a time traveler and actually put many of them into his show. Wow. Unfortunately, I have to go now. All right. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't look. Yep. Good timing. Um, I... Yeah, give us some closing words and if you like, give us some uh, poetry. Oh. Ah. Poetry? Yeah. Oh. Let me think. It's hard to just spew out a poem without preparing. But oh, sure. anyway. Anyway. Okay. Ah. Oh. My the desert planet of Fractia is uh is a place where I go to meditate sometimes. So I have a poem about Fractia. Maybe that will help. The night be cold, colder than one could imagine. Seeing how the day is filled with the greatest of heat. But yet there is life and there's plants and there's things there that one could not imagine. It bears a place of op opposite thought processes. It bears a place of inversion and triversion. There is something about it that is so peaceful yet so violent. And when we go there to do our meditations, to do our thought processes, we cannot help but be attracted to all these things that are twisted into the ground and growing out of the sky. There is a thought process that this place is not only for the weak at heart, but the strong in spirit and the strong in thought, for it compares itself to heaven and hell, as you would call them. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I must go now. Yep. This session was very uh, informative and very helpful. So I'm sure I will invite you many, many more times because you seem to be able to put things in, in a harmony and our understanding is much uh, clearer now. Thank you. Very well. Have a very wonderful day. Much love. You too. Much love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Hey, Jim. Welcome back. While you're... Okay.